Hello everyone. Let's see how we can create this simple seven digit display using geometry nodes in Blender. Let's first see the structure of the seven segment display. So there are four vertical segments and three horizontal segments. We are interested in the origin of these segments. So let's mark them. Now I'll open the geometry nodes editor window and add geometry nodes modifier to this object. Now this structure suggests that we can start with a grid with three vertices on X and three vertices on Y axis. So let's add a grid. Let's convert this to points. Now we want to transform the arrangement of the points in this particular way. I'll get the segment length from group input. This is our segment length and we can make the digit height twice the segment length. So I'll multiply this with two and feed it to Y. Now to bring this arrangement in this particular format, we need to delete these two vertices and move these vertices, the corner vertices by half on Y axis. So let's first delete these two vertices. The criteria for filtering them is pretty straightforward. They have non zero X and zero Y axis value. So I'll add a position node and then separate XYZ. Then we will check if X is not equal to zero. And Y is equal to zero. We need to add these two conditions. And here we will get the filter criteria to filter out these two vertices. Now I'll add a delete geometry node and only delete these filtered vertices. Now the next thing we want to do is move these corner vertices by half the value along Y axis. So let's have a set position node. Filtering these corner vertices is again pretty straightforward. All of them have non zero X as well as Y values. We already have non zero X value criteria here. And we can just not this condition. So we get Y not equal to zero. And combine these two with an AND node. And actually these are our corner vertices. And we want to shift these vertices only along Y axis. So let's have a combine X, Y, Z and retain X and Z values. Only Y value we will divide by two. And feed it to the Y input of combine X, Y, Z. And we'll connect this result to the position. Of course, this will move all the vertices, but we only need to move the corner vertices. So let's connect this output of corner to selection. And we pretty much have the same kind of structure that we need for seven segment digit. Now the next thing we want to do is instantiate grids on these points. Let me combine this into a single group. And let's call it. Segment origins. We can also take out two other outputs from this group. One is these corner vertices, which are nothing but actually the vertical segments. And the ones that are not vertical segments are the horizontal segments. So we can take that Boolean also out of this group. Let's call this horizontal segment. Now we can instantiate grid on these origins. Now we want to scale only the vertical segments by the segment thickness. So let's introduce another combine X, Y, Z and get its X value from group input. We'll call this segment thickness. We can set the initial value to let's say 0.2. If now we connect this to the scale, all the segments will get scaled with this factor along X axis. But we want to scale only the vertical segments. So instead of using this selection, we can use a trick because otherwise we will have to have similar thing for horizontal also. So we can combine both horizontal and vertical in a single filter criteria just by using a trick. That is this Boolean also can be treated as an integer. So false indicates zero and true indicates one. So if we multiply this by this segment thickness, we are effectively scaling only vertical segments 
with this value and horizontal segments are scaled to zero because this will be zero for horizontal segments. But we want to scale horizontal segments by segment length. So what we can do is we can basically multiply the segment length with this Boolean. So we only have segment length for horizontal segments. For vertical segments, this value will be zero. And if we now add these two and feed the value to combine x, y, z, we are scaling the vertical segments by thickness and horizontal segment x with segment length. If we see here, there is a small overlap. So basically, we need to subtract the segment thickness from segment length before using it as a scaling factor for horizontal segments. So let's do that. I'll subtract segment thickness from segment length and feed that to this particular value. Now the things we did for X for horizontal and vertical segments, exactly the same things we need to do for Y for both set of segments. So I'll just duplicate these nodes along with their connections by pressing Control Shift D and just switch these two values that is horizontal and vertical segment masks and use this output to Y. So we get the appropriate scaling for Y values also. So we got our seven segment digit. Let's group this and we will call it seven segment. Next, we want to identify the indices of these individual instances because for a particular digit, let's say for example, two, we want to delete segments with specific indices. I'll just explain what, what I mean. So the two digit will be something like this, which means that in that case, we want to delete these two segments. So we need to first of all figure out what the segment indices are. We can do that using a viewer node and as a value we can put index and we want to find out the indices of instances. So let's select instance here. If we check this option attribute text, we will see the index values of individual instances. So I'll just mark them here. It's zero. This is two. This is five. This is three. This is one, this is six, and this is four. Now we can delete this. Now all we need to do is basically based on the digit, we need to delete specific segments using these index values. And the easiest way to do that is perhaps using an index switch node. This will be giving us a Boolean value that is a filter criteria for deleting the segments. And this index will actually be the digit that we want to display. So let's feed this index to group input. This will be our digit and its maximum value will be nine. Now we can start finding out the filter criteria for each digit. In case of zero, we want to delete this particular segment that is segment with index three. So let's add an index node and check if it is equal to three. And this is our mask for zero. Let's connect it to zero value. Now at this socket, we have a Boolean indicating this particular index if the digit value is zero. So we need to just add a delete geometry node, delete the instance and give it to the output. Now we see that basically for zero, we have deleted this particular segment. Similarly for one, we can delete all these segments. In this case, it's better to use these two segments and then do a not. So let's do that. We need to combine segment with index six and five. We need to or them. And remember, we want to keep these segments and delete the others. So we need to do a not. And this will give us mask for digit one. I'll just group these and call this mask one and we can connect this output to one. So we get one here now corresponding to this digit. So now we have zero and one. Let's have next digits. I'll just copy the same group 
and separate its data block. In case of two, we want to delete this and this. So one and five. And we can connect the output to two and we got the digit two. Let's move on to three. In case of three, we want to delete one and zero. I'll again duplicate this node, separate its data block and change this to one and zero. And now we have three. This is mask two. This is mask three. Let's continue. In case of mask four, we need to delete this, this and this segment. So four, zero and two. We need another R node. Next we'll move to five. For five, we just need to delete these two. So six and zero. We got five. In case of six, we just need to delete this particular thing. So we did not have a group. We can simply duplicate this. This is a mask six as a single value six. For seven again, we can delete these one, three, zero and two, or we can use four, six and five and do a not. So let me duplicate this. This is our mask seven, four, six and five, four, six and five. And we want to do a not. This is our seven. Eight is pretty straightforward. Eight, we don't delete anything. So we can just have a single Boolean constant with false value because we are not deleting anything. This will be our eight. And for nine, we just need to delete this zero. So let's duplicate this. This is our mask nine. Now we have the geometry node set up ready that will accept a single digit and display the corresponding seven segment digit. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions or questions, please leave a comment on this video.